Hello and welcome to a new video on the String Metrics channel. My name is Hervé Jeanne. Today's video is not a pure double bass video. We want to find out if you can record a double bass with a Shure SM57 and we will also try other instruments and we want to see if uh, the newer better 57A would be a better choice. The SM57 is truly a legend and you will probably find it in every recording studio around the world. And it has been used by every US president since its introduction in 1965 for speeches. Do you know what the SM stands for? It stands for studio microphone. Interestingly, Ernie Zeiler, the engineer who developed this microphone, was a fan of classical music and he expected this microphone to be used for orchestral recordings. But nowadays you will see this microphone mostly used for drums, percussion and uh, guitar cabinets, for instance. But you can use this mic for a lot of things, so why not also a double bass? Now, since 1989, Shure produces the Beta series and nowadays the brother of the SM57 is the Beta 57A, which is slightly more expensive. So m the big question is, is the Beta 57A better than the SM57? We will find out. One thing you have to know, the polar pattern of the SM57 is cardioid whereas the Beta 57A has a super cardioid pattern. So you already had a little speech comparison between the Beta 57A and the SM57. Could you already hear a difference? But let's now start with the instruments. Let's check my double bass. One more double bass phrase. As you can see, I recorded both mics simultaneously. They had approximately this this distance. This way you can be sure that my playing and the playing of my colleague Lars Bernsmann uh, doesn't influence the sound. Of course there's a couple of centimeters between the, cap the two capsules but I took care of uh, being not too close to the instruments and in a position where I think the, the difference in position won't change the sound too much. And now alto saxophone Next we have an acoustic guitar. And now a uh, guitar through an amplifier.
last test, I have wrapped the, each microphone in foam and put it under the bridge of my bass. I often heard people saying that they use this method to, to record or amplify a double bass, so I wanted to check it out myself. Of course, for this recording, I had, a, I had to make a separate recording for each microphone. So, what was your impression? If you look up on the Shure website, you will see that the Shure company itself says that the Beta 57A has an extended frequency response. It has more uh, and brighter high frequencies and more low frequencies too. This is something I could hear on the recordings, but in some way I thought that the SM57 has a characteristic which kind of smooths out the sound of some instruments. Some instruments sound less harsh with the SM57 than with the Beta 57A. This was my personal opinion. So I really would not say that the Beta 57A would be the better microphone. It depends of, on your personal taste and uh, of course which kind of source you are uh, recording or amplifying. But this was only my impression. Please let me know what you think. Please write it in the comments. Don't hesitate to write something. Every single comment will help my channel to get a better position in the YouTube algorithm. Please also give me a like if you like this video and you can also subscribe to this channel. I have some other microphone tests on the channel. I will put the links in the description. Thank you very, very much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye. The SM57 has also been used for many vocal recordings, professional recordings of really famous artists. I read on Wikipedia that even Madonna, David Bowie, John Lennon, Björk, Peter Gabriel and many more have used this microphone in the studio. I couldn't get a singer for my test today, so I will try to sing myself. SM57 Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I wanna be a part of it New York, New York Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I wanna be a part of it, New York, New York. Sorry for that.